New Zealand loves a good scapegoat. And and just the other day, it was leaked that a lot of the uh, problems with New Zealand's housing crisis come down to foreign investors, specifically Chinese foreign investors. Le Homa. <laughs> what did you just say? That, how are you in Chinese? AKA Chang, <laughs> two houses hung. You got two houses, don't you, Chang? Yes. Oh, you're driving <laughs> the property market through Bloody the roof. Chang. But that was ages ago. <laughs> I can't even get a house. Ma, 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 ma. <laughs> Sharon's still using the scapegoat uh, sound effect there. Still doesn't really quite understand what a scapegoat so is. So what do you want to blame me for, guy? Ma. I'm going to blame you for pushing up the... Okay, to be honest, hmm. even if there was no Chinese investors investing in the Auckland housing market or the New Zealand housing market, I still probably couldn't afford a house. But it's great to have a scapegoat. Bloody Chinese investors! Nah, nah. Can, I, can I just say <laughs> that it's not just houses that I blame Chang for? No. And while you're here, Chang... Mm, what I, else do you want to blame? Well, it's not just you. I'd like to blame the Chinese investors, because mm. I read the paper and that's what we're doing now. <laughs> um, I have kind of lost contact with my dad a bit. Yeah. Like, we still talk to each other, but um, it's been a while since we've been out for a beer and yeah. just hung out, father and son. Oh, yeah. so Haven't had any bonding time. You're and blaming them for your dad hating you. Do you know what? Do you know who I blame? Who? Bloody Chinese, Chinese investors! <laughs> oh, it's not no. my fault that you, you hey, guys live in a different town. Let's all lose it. He's hated you for a long time, though. <laughs> <laughs> this, mi- back then? this might sound crazy, okay, but just hear me out. Mm. I'm going to say that New Zealand's been in a lot of America's Cup races, and a lot of them have gone bad. Of New Zealand's, like, five unsuccessful America's Cup uh, attempts, I'm going to say at least two of them are to blame... The person to blame is the bloody Chinese investors! Oh, bloody Chinese, Chinese investors! Oh, investors. But the Chinese investors came before the America's <laughs> Cup! No, no! Um, so I went to the petrol station up the road from my uh, my house, yeah. and I was so excited about getting a little nippy's milk, yeah. and I went inside, and they only had honeycomb and coffee. They what? didn't have the chocolate one. That's ridiculous! I know. Do you know who got so them? So sad. I do know who got them. Who was it? Bl- bloody Chinese, Chinese, Chinese investors. investors! Chinese investors! They're bloody pushing up the price of honeycomb nippies. You know, I remember when we one time remember that bald All Blacks coach. In case it's like a rugby oh, coach or something uh, like John that. Mitchell. John Mitchell is blaming all John our problems Mitchell. on him. Yeah, we, for a period we were blaming a Natalia Kills for everything yeah. wrong with the country. <laughs> bloody yes. Natalia Kills. Recently, it was revealed that possibly house prices in New Zealand have been driven up artificially by bloody Chinese investors. Oh, oh, bloody, bloody Chinese, Chinese investors! investors. So we decided to jump on the bandwagon today and just start blaming Chinese investors for a whole lot of ridiculous crap. And uh, the text of the text machine are a pretty good value. Guys, head is too big. Oh, Chinese, Chinese investors. investors! Came back from holiday and someone stole my favourite highlighter. Oh, bloody, <laughs> bloody Chinese, Chinese investors. investors! I'm lactating without being pregnant. Oh, oh that's kind of gross. Yeah, but-, but also handy if you're hungry and in a rush. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ollie, what do you blame on the Chinese investors. Come dine with me not recording on my TiVo last night. Oh! oh bloody Chinese, Chinese investors. investors! You know what? I blame come dine with me, period, on the Chinese <laughs> hey, investors. Don't blame me. Oh, bloody Chinese, Chinese investors. investors! But hey, do you want to say hi to the one person that watches come hey, dine with me? Hey, hey, shout out to you. Hey, see you tuning in tonight. Big come dine with me fans. Come dine in ages. <laughs> Get to watch yeah. tonight, Ollie? Yep. Hey! I, I heard he's lying. <laughs> Thanks, Ollie. Freya, what about you? Hi, I'm in the middle of baking a cake and I ran out of eggs. Oh. <laughs> Bloody Chinese, Chinese investors! Oh, that is just bad news. They're screwing I'm sorry. up everything. Sorry about that, Freya. <laughs> on 0800 there's now we have got Emily. What are you blaming on the Chinese investors? I'm blaming the Chinese investors for our <laughs> vacuum cleaner process. Oh, <laughs> oh, goodness. Bloody Chinese, Chinese investors. <laughs> I, I love mean, their anger. <laughs> it's just, now, now what are you going to do with all the mess on the floor, Emily? I don't know. A glass also broke. You have to clean that up as well. And who do you, who do you, who do you blame that on, Emily? Chang. Chang. <laughs> Specifically Chang. Specifically Chang. Okay, now we're really narrowing down the investors. <laughs> hey, hope your day gets better, Emily. Me too. <laughs> How could you be angry with such a happy, happy voice? So cute. Well, we've hopefully got that out of our systems. Now it's a cathartic process. We've blamed the Chinese investors. Be careful if we start to blame you next.